more news around the NFL, and uh, we got some updates on the Xavier Howard situation and potential trade targets. What is up, fan fans? Yeah, another quarterback was traded today. <laughs> um, another linebacker was released today. Uh, so there's a few things I want to talk about, but let's just jump into this. Let's talk about the first the quarterback trade, right? And Carson Wentz has been traded from the Indianapolis Colts to the Washington Commanders. I got to get used to saying that name. And essentially the Colts are getting not much. Colts are getting a 2022 third round pick, a 2023 third round pick that can become a second if Carson Wentz uh, plays 70% and a 2022 uh, second round pick. So they get a third and a second this year, and then they get a third next year that can become a second if Carson Wentz plays 70% of the plays. So essentially kind of the same situation that the Eagles got with the uh, Colts, right? And the commanders get Carson Wentz and a second round pick this year. That's so weird. So essentially the... Uh, Commanders and the Colts switched second round picks. And yeah, so they switched second round picks. So they didn't really get a 2022 second round pick. They just switched picks. They have a potential to get a 2023 second round pick if he plays a lot. And they got a third round pick. So essentially, in a nutshell, the Colts got a third round pick this year, a third round pick next year that can become a second round pick. And the Commanders got once. So two thirds. That could be one, two thir uh, third in a second. There's that. <laughs> he didn't play too great. You, you you watched that Jaguars game last year, the last game of the season. He didn't play great. So it just makes sense that he didn't go for a high amount of dollars, right? The other thing is the Arizona, Arizona Cardinals are releasing linebacker Jordan Hicks. Hicks played at blah, 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 registering 118 uh, tackles, four sacks by the Cardinals. Um it's another linebacker that's become available. Uh, if you watch my last night video, I talk about going after Bobby Wagner. Jordan Hicks is another possibility. The linebacker core for the Dolphins is weak. So I do see them hopefully potentially bringing in a linebacker. I talked about during the, my free agent breakdown that I didn't really mention linebackers because of the fact that I didn't see any there that piqued my interest. Well, you wonder, I waited till Monday to make that video. This whole week, a lot of players are going to get released. Potential trades. Trades are actually going to happen. So there's another guy on the market. And the last thing I want to talk about before we get into uh, possible trades for the Dolphins is Cameron Wake came out and said, I am told uh, no, uh, no deal close yet on Xavier Howard restructure, but they will be keeping a close eye on the cornerback market. X wants to be paid what he deserves, which is near top of the cornerback market. 15 interceptions over the last two years. Can't imagine he would be okay with second highest paid cornerback on the team again. So essentially what he's talking about is say the Dolphins did get J.C. Jackson. He would be making more than Xavier Howard's making. So he he wants to be paid um, his production of interceptions and turnovers that he's given this team. Uh, so there, you know, no deals close yet. Also, if the Dolphins restructure his contract, that would give us more cap space this year. Same thing with if they did trade Byron Jones, that would give us more cap space this year. A lot of stuff is still in the works that could happen. Like I said, uh, the Dolphins have a potential to make about 15 million with cuts. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how that all pans out. A lot of stuff's going to happen. I'm literally recording this, editing it, uploading it, and then I'm going to see Batman. So I'm going to be in the movie theater for the next three hours. Don't be surprised if breaking news happens and I'm not here because I'm in the movies. So let's talk about what I wanted to talk about in this video, which is potential trades that the Dolphins might talk about. Now, I have Cavlin Ridley on here. That ain't happening now. Um, but you've seen a lot of quarterbacks getting traded. You know, Russell Wilson got traded. You see now um, Carson Wentz got traded. I don't think this is the end of it. I think on Friday when we get more of a, an understanding and more of, a, of details on what's happening with um, Watson, we'll know more, right? If Watson does... Uh, if it doesn't go well for him and the jury indicts him on some of his charges, then he's not playing this year and he probably won't get traded this year. If not, and he's cleared and he's a free man and they just move on from it, he will get traded probably Saturday. <laughs> like, it'll be real quick when that happens. So that's what's going to happen. So there's some rumors out there and I'm going to talk about potential rumors that I've heard and then what do I think about it, right? So 
let's jump into it. Saquon Barkley, right? A lot of people are talking about the potential of the Giants trading Saquon Barkley and should the Dolphins go after Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley has been dealing with a nagging injury. He's still playing at a high level. We watched when uh, the Dolphins played the Giants, what he did to Nick Needham. Um, But he's dealing with a nagging injury that, you know, us as Dolphin fans, we have horrible luck when it comes to going after potential banged up players. We did it with Tua. We did it with Devontae Parker. We did it with, you can rough, raffle down the list of players. Will Fuller, and you've seen how that pans out. Now, I'm hearing Saquon uh, can get probably around a third or fourth because his contract is so big this year that that would have to be redone uh, so he could be on the team longer. So that's why also, again, tends to be banged up. So that's why it's around a third a fourth or third or fourth. I'm hearing that the Giants would probably want more than that. So we'll see if they move on from him. If the Dolphins did it for a third, I'd, I'd be fine. I'd be like, all right, cool. It's a good price for Saquon. Anything higher than the third, I'm not going to like it. Because, again, you have to repay him and give him a new contract. The other name running back is um, Christian McCaffrey. Again, another guy injury prone. He has $44 million left on his contract. So it's another situation where you would think, oh, you got to give up the 29th overall pick for Christian McCaffrey. Not so, you know, not necessarily. The, you ha- there's a lot of factors that go into what draft pick you're going to give up and yada, yada, blah, 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 bing, bang, bing. So the fact that he still has $44 million left on his contract, the fact that he's been banged up, and I, I don't remember the last time he played a full season, he would probably get around again another fourth round pick. And if they did that for Saquon or Christian McCaffrey, I'm fine with that because they have a ton of upside, a ton of potential. And to me, that's a low risk, high reward, especially because we have two fourth round picks. Then there's the rumors out there of Laramie Tunsil, that the the Texans want to move on from Laramie Tunsil. I'm hearing a, a potential value is a first and a third. I'm fine with that. You know how many firsts we got uh, from Laramie Tunsil? I would love for the Dolphins to go out and trade for Laramie Tunsil. They go out and trade for Laramie Tunsil, I think that the Texans would still be on the books for some of his money, and then – that would really help the Dolphins on the offensive line. And then they don't have to go out and spend big money on whoever you want at the tackle position that's a free agent right now. And a first and a third is not bad for Laramie Tunsil. I think the Dolphins would only be on the books for like $12 million of his $20 million each year because of the trade and what the Texans would owe. Uh, or they can make it a less of a round of a like – maybe all right, we'll give you a second round pick uh, overall or a third round pick, whatever – and we'll pay more of his contract to give you more cap space. There's that potential as well. And the last name I'm going to talk about, again, this is a quick video. I just wanted to talk about a little bit of the updates around the NFL and then talk about potential trades. Is the Darius Smith, the defensive end from Green Bay. Now, there's rumors out there that the, the Packers might be open to trading him. Emmanuel Ogba is going to be testing the market, he said. <clears throat> we lost on Harold Landry. He re-signed with the Titans. So Darius Smith, again, he has a big contract. He did just get, he, I think he played like one game last year. But in 2020, he had 17 and a half sacks, 12 and a half sacks, 12 and a half. And in 2019, he had 13 and a half sacks. So he's a big producer. So I wouldn't mind if the Dolphins did try to trade for Zadarius Smith if they can't bring back Emmanuel Ogba and because we lost out on Harold Landry. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Dolphins made some moves and made some trades. Um, you, I, I will just say this, right? Don't be surprised about anything. About anything. You hear the GM say, oh, we're not going after this guy. You hear the GM say, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And they always come back and do the opposite. Look at the Giants with Odell back on. We just signed him to a contract. We're not going to trade Odell. Boom, trade him to the Cleveland Browns. T- take what GM say and, and throw it out the window. So anything could happen on the next this weekend, the next couple of days, and the next week or so when free agency starts. So for me, if again, if the Dolphins went out and got Barkley or McCaffrey and gave up a third or a fourth, um, I'd be fine with that. Nothing higher than a third. Um, Lambie Tunsil, I'd love that trade if they potentially went out and did that. And again, Zadarius Smith, if you can't get Emmanuel Ogba back in here, Zadarius Smith is a production machine on that defensive line. But comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that the uh, – who won that trade – with Washington and Indianapolis. I think it was an even trade. I think it was good value for both sides. 
Uh, do you want to keep Xavier Howard? You know, they're not getting close to a deal from what I'm hearing, or would you just replace him with J.C. Jackson, being that they are looking at the quarterback market? Uh, more linebackers are being added to the free agent pool. Do you want to add one of them? Comment below on some linebackers that you might want to add, and what do you think about the potential trades for Saquon Barkley or Christian McCaffrey or Larry Tunsil or Zadarius Smith if we can't bring back Odell Beckham? Uh, Odell Beckham, what am I talking about? Emmanuel Agba. My brain is just not working properly. But for the next couple of hours, I will be in the movie theaters watching the Batman. So you'll put, news will probably break. That's just my luck. So uh, if it does, you'll get you'll get a video when I get out of the movies. If not, maybe I'll still make a video after I get out. We'll see how things pan out. But on that, guys, like usual, stay classy. And fins up. <laughs>